It is one of those times. Every once in a while, we do a gorgeous, original, old school, very, very beginning, all the way back to 2009, 11 years ago, Zendikar, everybody. Andrew, everybody thank Andrew G, my patron, for allowing all of us the opportunity to enjoy this experience. Uh, Andrew, good luck, sir. Um, a lot of value in this set. Obviously, the fetch lands are always pricey. So we are going back, folks. What we do here is go back. Yes, folks, that's what we're doing. And, uh, yeah. Even she's scared. Look at that. So, look at this. Join the network. So, folks, we are even... Now, on this particular product... Woo! Baby. Wow. Remember, we also have to look at the common cards. We have a $3, $4 common... The map, Expedition map, and we also have a $5 uncommon, the crabs. So we're going to see how many times we can get crabs today, and we're going to see how many maps we can find on our way out. And of course, maybe we'll hit something crazy like a foil enemy fetch land. So everybody, sit back, relax, it's time to slow roll and enjoy. So we got the giant peaks, everybody likes peaks. Crossroads, Crocodile, we're going to take a few common things, then we'll speed up on the commons after a pack or two. And Seas, man, I wish you guys could smell the ink. It says the old ink smell, just so everybody knows. Trusty Machete, the Blade Master, and the Seascape. Pack 1, Predatory Urge, not that great. Ooh, woo! Stunning forest, everybody. Oh, there's a foil way in the back. We got the uh, Tiger for Pack 1 foil. We got ourselves a nice little Tiger there. I always forget they put the foils up, up, up. Look at those curled. The foil's way behind the uh, the tip card and everything. So I always forget that order is a little different there. So look at that larva. Oh my god. Whew. Okay. Vampire. Some of the artwork is always just nuts on these old things. They were a lot more, uh, ooh, spell pierce. They were a lot more risque taking the chances back then on the old artwork. Wood Crasher. Oh, the Pitfall Trap. And of course, Land bind ritual with the Warren instigator for mythic number one, the crazy tiny little screaming goblin berserker. That was always a little playful little card, and of course our full art planes. I believe the full art lands in this still fetch like a buck or two, just in the lands itself. And um, I know we I'm gonna start speeding up in the common cards. You gotta look out for that uh, expedition map. And then Uncommons, ah, Carnage Altar, I remember that card. Boom, right to Megasi, the Water Veil. Um, not the most expensive in the rare land cycle, but still very cool. Gorgeous looking swamp there, everybody. And, uh, God, the, oh my God, the, it's amazing when you open these old packs, the scent of the ink is so strong compared to cards. They smell so different. The chemicals used, it, it's quite interesting. Shows you how much uh, ink I've sniffed from magic cards in my lifetime, everybody. We got the Basilisk. We got ourselves a nice mongrel. The quest for the Holy Relic. With ourselves a grappling hook artifact equipment rare. Stunning island as always. And just a beautiful looking soldier as always, everyone. Is that our first token? I think it's our first token. That might be our first token. So obviously the goal here is to at least get three fetch lands. That is uh, obviously the best financial goal here, where all the big, big money is, is what Zendikar is known for. And of course, you always have a chance of a priceless treasure, but at this point in time, we don't really think about that, because it's so flippin' difficult to get. Obnix! Look at the old obnix -aru. Look at that art. Woo! Good old Jason Felix art for our Landfall Nyx Mythic number 2, everybody. Goodness gracious. Still no fetch land, so we're a couple packs in. Yeah, boy, some of these old packs are, they are massively difficult. A little too much glue when I resealed them. All right, everyone, let's see what we get here. Still no common expedition map. Uncommon Shepherd, beautiful looking angel. Braven the Elements, the Snare. And there we go, Blood Chief Ascension. Absolutely iconic enchantment. Stunning artwork and uh, actually still holds some value. There's a lot of $10 rares. I believe that's still around a $10 rare, everybody. And gorgeous elemental there with nice full art. So, like I said, I probably, you guys probably only get to see an original Zendikar opening like this maybe, what, once a year on the channel? We don't do this very often. We've only done it a couple times in the four years on YouTube. Boom! Our first Expedition $3 common. Very nice. So I guess we can put that aside. I'm curious how many we actually get. Um, 
I have a little common area over there with no crabs yet. I've not found any crabs yet today, everybody. And absolutely, every time I see that artwork, I'm just like, what is that chick doing? Just laying it out there. All right, we got the Druid and Seascape and boom, Arid Mesa coming through. First printing Arid Mesa. There she is, everybody. Absolutely beautiful with the gorgeous soldier saying, you're welcome. You're welcome. All right, we're going to put you up here. So we got our maps, we got our foils, mythics, and we got our fetch lands. So we are already at one fetch land for the first, still with a minimum of only about eight packs in. Doing good, everybody. Doing good. All right. Fantastic. That has a gorgeous uh, little lotus looking card, isn't it? All right, let's see what we got here. Cancel. Murr, folk. Quest for the Greg card. That artwork's creepy. Quest for Ancient Secrets. And we got ourselves the old Merfolk Trickster. Look at that face. Look at that face. Merfolk Trickster in a gorgeous Swamparoo. And some rules in case you're trying to learn how to play Mujik the Ugly Owing. So, fun video today. Again, Andrew, I uh, appreciate you letting all of us share into this. It's always, always a fun experience doing something old like this because it's just, you don't get to see a lot of this stuff nowadays. Rune Flare Trap. Another ritual. Wow, we're getting a lot of rituals. Turn Timber Ranger, the Elf Scout ally. I always thought it was interesting how they were always, they started adding ally to all the elves and as the uh, archetype and all that. And a giant, beautiful forest. All right. So that's where we're at so far today. Uh, these box prices remain extraordinarily expensive. As you guys saw my, in the background there, I only have a couple boxes left of this. All right, Mark Mutiny, Vampire, and Quest for the Gem Blades. <laughs> $90. Scalding Tarn, everybody. Fetch land number two. Best card in the set for the home run. Gorgeous. Pouring those dollar dollar bills out, everybody. With the giant snake coming out to say hi. Absolutely awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay. That is exactly what we like to see. Oh, man. That used to be a, a nice little pricey card, too. These Journey to Nowheres used to have some good value to them. Um, let's see what we got here. Gatekeeper, Geyser, and the Rit God, the Ritual again, really? Boom, Lotus Cobra. Uh, this was a pricey, this was a $10, $20 Mythic. Not sure what the price is today, but always a very iconic card for the old uh, Lotus for Mythic number, oop, Mythic number three. Up, oh, we got Planes. I always forget an Illusion token, very neat, and a turn for the Foil Common. So Foil Rare remains at large. We may, can you imagine if we get a Foil Fetch? Oh man, that'd be epic. Flipping epic. It's been a long time, so we've had something really epic. Ooh, Expedition Map number two. $3 common. I would love to see a Foil Shock Land, or Shock Land, oh my goodness. Foil Fetch Land. Refuge, and nice little trap. Here we go, folks. <gasps> what do we got here? Planeswalker. The heck, Planeswalker? There's no Liliana in this. Uh, Obnex? Zero Planes? No. Obnex is, wait. Sorkin? Sorin? So, ah, it's a Soren. Yeah, I was like, ah. Every time I see Soren, I think M12. He's actually still kind of pricey, everybody. All right, Soren, Mythic number four. We got ourselves a very solid box, everybody. We are only 12 packs in, and we are doing extraordinarily well. Andrew, you are you got two phenomenal fetches. You got four good Mythics, double Expedition map. I still have not been able to give you crabs yet. We're going to keep trying to get you crabs, though. So, other than that, uh, we are doing quite well today on this box opening. One of the better. Um, good old beautiful vampiric, vampiric, vampire hex mage. Sorry, she always uh, disorients me a little bit. Ah, uh, the old crypt. This was one that I always thought was beautiful. Very, very unique, but again, never really turned into a very heavy hitting specialty land there. In a nice bird flying in your head. So, alright, let's see here. We are about to approach halfway through the box. See a little spell pierce action there. Oops. All right. Into the uncommon tsunami. Quest for the Grave Lord. Always a creepy piece of art. Primal uh, below your waist. And Oracle of the Mool. That is what we're talking about. Probably the one of the best rares in the set. Used to be $20, $30, $40. Phenomenal rare. Extraordinarily iconic pool. Beautiful island. And we do have ourselves... A foil uncommon. A nice little foil uncommon rune trap. Not too bad. Couple dollars there. Phenomenal box so far, everybody. Wow. This is, I mean, we haven't even hit halfway through the box. We are just doing great. Foil rare remains at large, everybody. 
So what the heck is this? Um, she needs to see Dr. Rudy. Yes. Um, here we go. Into the Uncommons, we got the Vampire Nighthawk. Inferno Trap, we got the Rune Flare Trap. A lot of traps, a lot of traps. Boom. Misses a blaze. Nice little pack art showing up here. Uh, wow, Mythic number five. And uh, Planeswalker number two. Holy crap. This would have been, man, this is a phenomenal box today. This is one of the best original Zendikars I've seen in a very long time. Okay, here we go. Goblin Ruin Blaster, that face. Look at that face. Does everybody think that's what I look like? All right, we got the Treacherous Archer. Ah, Dreamweaver, creepy little chick. And the Malachor Blood Witch. She always freaked me out. You know why? Look real close. You know what freaks me out about this chick? Her very big, round, long neck. The neck really weirds me out on that. I don't know why. Okay, we got a nice swamp. We do have a foil. We do have a foil. Yeah. Oh, it's a foil rare. Oh, your predatory primitive urge, Andrew. That's your foil rare. Swing and a miss on the foil rare. That gets a flipping womp womp. Oh, man, that's that was garbage fire. All right. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let it be. Keep going. Needle Bite Trap. We got some Refuge. And we got the Sphinx of Lost Truths. People said, used to say, I have to giant head, little body, but you got some good other assets going for you. Um, kind of a strange little Sphinx. Uh, it's got a nice little kicker action. Not the greatest card. A little pricey. Nice Forest and the Wolf with a Helmet. All right. So we are now hitting the official halfway point of this booster box. And, oh, oh, I uh, thought we had an expedition map. Still, I have not been able to give my patron crabs yet. I'm going to keep trying here. We got a nice cage. We got the nice charge. Braven the elements. And elemental appeal with a big old kicker cost. Popping out some big 7-1 elemental tokens there. And we got a nice island. We do have a foil again. Maybe we'll get something spicy. Nope. Ah, common. Ruinous minotaur common. So I'm very surprised we have not hit any of the $5 on common crabs yet. Uh, a couple maps, and uh, we're still only at two uh, two fetchies. I keep wanting to say Shocklands today, everybody. I don't know why. We've got a nice charge. Got a nice wayfinder. Quest for the pure flame. Ah, the Halo Hunter. Nice little iconic pointy artwork there. That is about it. Stunning forest, as always, and a nice illusion, everybody. Yeah, these original Zendikar videos are always... Uh, Boy, they're always uh, an experience, aren't they, everyone? Very, very enjoyable. And, oh, nope, she has still not gone to the doctor yet. Still have some bacterial issues there. All right, we got the glider. We got the old wood crasher. Ah, uh, the old, I used, I used, when I was younger, when the set first came out, I used to think that was a flying saucer when I looked at the artwork real quick. Ah, the right of replication. Very, very good card. Very iconic for original Zendikar on this particular spell. Um, that was always hot. I think it's still worth a little bit of money, too. I wouldn't be surprised if that's still a $5, $10 rare even today. The old Rite of Replication. I remember the foils of that being very expensive also back in the day. All right, let's see what we got here, everybody. The trusty machete. The old core uh, astronaut, even though I call it, it's aeronaut. I call it astronaut. Uh, Rudy's Gray Pit of No Return. And the Kazool War Warlord. Um, don't remember that Minotaur. That was very forgettable. Planes and, of course, Rudy's face. Hmm. All right. Well, it's uh, a little dry spell here on the old uh, fetch lands. I'd like to see uh, at least a couple more fetch lands. It's kind of been a while here. Not really sure what's going on with the fetches. I haven't seen any. So I'd like for that to kind of uh, return to normal here. All right, River Boa, Blazing Torch, Feast of Blood. What are these chicks doing? And, of course, the Lava Ball Trap. I used to like trap cards. A lot of people didn't like trap cards. I thought it added a nice little fun new style to the game like a new mechanic a new kind of type of card i don't think a lot of people were really a lot of people weren't really excited about them see a lot of people were like she excites me but a lot of people the traps didn't didn't really do a lot for a lot of people and i thought the traps were pretty cool but cobra trap speaking of traps gorgeous uh flying angel there quest for pure flame and we got ourselves the low mage mintar also known as the creature merfolk uh, I mean, it's a merfolk wizard. I mean, not much to say. Gorgeous island. And that is it. So we are now hitting a dry spell going through the middle here, Andrew. Uh, hopefully we get some more uh, spicy stuff pretty soon. Because I am not seeing a whole lot here. We are missing fetch lands. We're not getting anything else spicy right now. 
I like to kind of uh, take it up here. Astronaut action. The old Aether Figment. Cool piece. Of hey! Trailblazer's boots! Holy crap! I actually remember this uncommon. This used to be a couple dollars for an uncommon. I'm not sure if this is still a buck or two. This was, uh, that was an interesting card. Very, very interesting. I'm surprised. Oh, Misty coming through! Oh my god, reminds me of my ex-girlfriend Misty. She was a, she was a firecracker. Just like that rainforest. Absolutely fantastic. Fetchland number three. Miss Misty has returned to the video and joined the chat. Absolutely very, very cool pull there, everybody. Absolutely phenomenal. Arid, Tarn, and a Misty. I tell you what, if you're going to get three fetches, that is uh, that is definitely the top ones you want to get, everybody. Another uh, Refuge, the Feast of Creepy Chicks. And going in for the, uh, the Day of Judgment, also known as the Knockoff Modern of the Wrath of God. Literally the same card. So that was a swing and a miss on the, uh, on the rare slot there, everybody. All right, here we go. Wayfinder, Primal. And another ref. God, we are not. What I thought. Oh, Blade of the Blood Chief. I remember this blade. Uh, I, I remember liking it because it was cheap. It was a little one drop, but never really did a whole lot. There's where Rudy's. Uh, Rudy grew up, and we do have a foil. We do have a foil, everybody. An art. Hey, look at that. That's cool. Foil common, the best common card in the set. We actually got a foil of the best common in the set. That's pretty sweet. Okay, that's kind of cool, Andrew. What are the odds of that? That's pretty cool. All right, that was a nice little surprise, everybody. Nice little change of pace surprise aru there. All right, into the uncommons. Here we go. Archer, the Volley Trap, Unstable Footing, and the World Queller. Also known as, I don't even remember that rare, but okay. All right, in a forest. All right. Well, we're down to about 10 packs left. We are currently at the national average of three fetch lands per box. Hoping... We can actually push to four fetches. That would be cool. At least we'd be above average. Ah, uh, the gem. I remember that gem. That was a cool uncommon. Pitfall trap. The old mine sludge. And archive trap for a fantastic hit on the rare slot. In my opinion, one of the best rares in this particular uh, original Zendikar. Very, very iconic card for this set. And uh, Rudy the Merfolk High Schooler. All right, where are we down to here? We are down to, oh, we're about, what, 10 packs left? I'd still like to see at least one more fetch or something, just something spicy here. We're getting a lot of five, ten dollar cards. I'd still like to see at least. All right, vampire hex mage. You can bite my neck if you need to. It's not a big deal. Another nice little boots action. Very cool. Quest and the Terra Stomper for the six drop eight eight can't be countered trample. Back in the day, a six drop for an eight eight with you can't counter it with trample would have been a home run card. But again, as nobody predicted from 20 years ago, monster creatures and things like that. Like a card like that, if it was printed in like ABU, would have been deemed as like completely banned broken card. But the magic world has changed so much. It's not about big creatures anymore, as we all know. Marsh Casualties. I don't even remember seeing that. That's cool looking. That's a wild one. Frontier Guide. I don't remember her creeping on me. Okay. Hey, Vernon Catac <laughs> Look at that. Well, slap my kneecap into a nacho chip. That is what we needed today. That is the new spicy gordita without the shell. That is what we needed. Four of the five fetch lands. Can you imagine if we get all five? Holy crap. That is awesome. That's that's a that's gotta be a couple hundred dollars just in fetch lands. Absolutely fantastic, everybody. And the Luminarch Ascension. That uh used to be a little pricey. I'm not sure how well the value of that particular card is held up now. But I know that used to be a pretty sought-after card. I remember that being... I remember selling those for five, ten bucks. All right, we are getting towards the end, everybody. We got the Pyromancer. Unstable footing. Another creepy chick up in the tree. And ending on a light caster. Um, she may need to see a chiropractor, but it's okay. We got ourselves a forest. We do have a foil. Come on, baby. And a foil rare. We got a double foil rare box. Grappling hook. Um, well... That's, you guys need to understand, double foil rare boxes back in the day was really tough to do. You know, I mean, not the greatest, but you know, hey, so what? We did get two foil rares. I mean, you know, really can't complain about that. All right, everybody, we are down to the end here. We do not have much left. Hope you all been enjoying the video. Into the mythic Obsidian Fireheart, huh? The old Blaze Counter. I remember this creepy dude. Never did much. But holy crap. Oh, we do have a foil. Foil Uncommon. Living Tsunami. I didn't even catch you back there. 
Wow, really? A six mythic? This is a phenomenal Zendikar box, everybody. Just so everybody knows, besides a foil fetch land, this is pretty much the box opening you would want to do if you bought and wanted to crack one. You don't get much better than this. I mean, we did not, for some reason, we did not get any crabs, which is really weird. Um, we have a gigantiform, a gigantic enchantment, also known as the giant bug beetle with a chick that's going to rail you. And uh, we do have another mythic, or I'm sorry, another mythic. We have another foil. A Grim, wow, that is awesome looking. Holy smokes, Grim Discovery. Not worth anything, but stunningly beautiful. I mean, this has been an absolute joy of a pleasure video, Andrew, and you had a lot of good pulls, man. Hey, Expedition Map, you ended up with a playset. Look at that. Playset of Expedition Maps. Very, very cool. And, hey, we finally got the, I finally gave you crabs. I didn't think we were going to get a crab all video. We actually got you, got you one crab, bro. That's all we got. I was like, are we going to, that's the $5 uncommon. We haven't seen it all video. Yeah, Predatory Urge. That was a foil rare. Really? That was terrible. All right, very last pack today, everybody. So, uh, absolutely fun video today. Hope everyone's having a great day. We are going to wrap it up right here. Hopefully, we're going to get some spice in the clothes. Maybe, maybe not. Punishing Fire. Hey, we did get some boots. And, uh, the Evangel. Ah, ending on a crap note. All right, Evangel, and that is it. So, reflect on it. We got you. I got you crabs one time. One $5 on common. You did get a place of the best commons in the, the uh, these Endicar set. A whopping six Mythics with four out of five fetch lands. And you also got some of the top $20, $30 rares in the set. A uh, very, very strong box opening today. A uh, lot of financial value. And, uh, Andrew, thanks again for sharing with everybody. Hope you all are having a great day and a great video. And, as always, I appreciate the views, and thank you for allowing me the privilege to entertain everybody.